I saw this. And I was like, I, I like if you guys are curious, I'm very excited about Silent Hill. Because I'll be honest, Silent Hill is one of those game games that I absolutely fucking loved as a kid. Hey, Cobham, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit. I appreciate it. But yeah, I saw this and I immediately was like, oh, fucking hell. What are they doing? Like, I, I watched like five seconds and then I was like, you know what? I should probably wait for them. Like, I should probably discuss this with my chat. Because if you want to see something I get passionate about, this might be it. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting such uh, subs, he got them. And hey, look at that. 20, 20 streak, hell yeah. So, if you guys don't know, Konami's making Silent Hill 2. Which, um... I'm... I mean, I was excited for. Despite... Despite, uh, the... Like, Kojima, uh... Kojima not being a part of it and like I'm, I'm still like I was like thinking like I mean maybe it's gonna be interesting at least you know what I mean it's like it's it's not gonna be fantastic but at least gonna be interesting you know what I mean it's like you kind of have like the low ex it's like it's like when Sonic is being made by another team it's like it's not Sonic team that's making it. it's another Sonic like game it's like you, you just kind of like have this like oh yeah it's pretty okay <laughs> but I started seeing this I will pause a lot during this, just as a warning. Oh. I'm very excited for people to play this game. There's no one aspect that I could say that I'm... I want people to experience because I want people to experience all of it. It's mm -hmm. such a journey. It's such a big part of our lives and I just want people to be able to see it. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who have not played the original, but at the same time to still retain the familiarity of the of the game that player remembers from 20 years ago. I... Our goal from the very beginning was to maintain... That, that part right there was where I started like getting a little bit suspicious. And I will be honest, I hope they mean story-wise. Because I'll be honest, if they're talking... What was it? If they're talking, like, gameplay-wise or, like, anything like that, and it's, like, approachable, like, I mean, the game was already approachable. Like, it's one of those things that, like, I feel like most of the time when people, like, think, like, it's, like, the controls were a bit jank back in the day. Because it was an early, it was an early 3D game. But it was really beautiful. It was kind of nice. You know what I mean? You kind of liked it, as it is, kind of situation. And I'm not going to be one of those, like, zero changes. I know changes has to be made, but, like, yeah. Fucking hell. Ugh. In the game's atmosphere while modernizing the gameplay to make it competitive in 2024. I mean... In the remake, the story remains largely the same. However, with the magic of modern technology, we're able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest was designing combat. We want to be as faithful as possible uh, to the original game, but also okay. we want players to feel satisfaction while playing, uh, remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. I mean, I mean, yeah, but also, I feel like the combat needs to be jank. If I could say it like that. If, if they're making combat, they need to make a jank. Because, like, I'll be honest, jank is kind of necessary in this situation. Like, I don't know, do you... I feel... I feel like whenever I see a... It's like, people talk about, like, oh, we gotta make the combat perfect and such like that. It's like, combat was such a risk-reward... Like, it's like the same thing in Resident Evil. It's such a risk-reward situation. Because, like... Here's the thing, you could, you could fight this boss, or not boss, you could fight these enemies, or you could sneak past them, but most of the time, you want to sneak past them because you have limited amount of bullets. In Resident Evil, this is very common. Silent Hill, it was very also like, you rather, like, because the combat is bad, you don't want to meet anybody. 
that was such a big part of it. Like you, it's like it's scary to see anybody dangerous. It's like I, I really hope they. And also, okay. Unpopular opinion. I really hope. I really hope they put in the fog. I, I like. I see all the like the gameplay trailers and stuff like that. I'm always like, I'm always like, oh god. Like I, we need. I need kind of like. The reason why they had the fog was to make it like so you couldn't see everything, and I really hope they add more of it because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of it. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer have much more control over what players see, where they go, and so on. The change for the third-person mm. perspective was a challenge. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world, to show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible, and just make this game richer. So the main thing that requires rethinking was the fog because it was called classic in the original game. Yeah. You see the veil that covers the world and, and uh, makes the player to feel even more isolated. Yeah. New technologies gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during okay. the Okay, um, go back to that. Yeah, this is what I mean. That is... This is too far. I would, like, I, 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 I get it, because, like, He's, they're showing off that you can actually, like, the fog will kind of, like, fall out of the windows. And, like, it's, like, the fog is actually moving with the environment, which looks cool. I get, I give him that. It looks cool. And I hope this is a situation where you walk up and then it starts, like, uncovering everything. Like, it's, like, this is where you're supposed to go kind of situation. Like, that would be cool. That's, that's a cool idea. But I really hope this is not how it looks. Because, like, my brain... Who's gonna believe you? Oh God, Jesus Christ! Hey, Ali. <laughs> God damn. It's like this kind of like if like you see zoom in like this is like eh. it's too. F I I see too much. <laughs> the weird thing. It sounds weird, but you don't want to see too much in this game, because then you be more susceptible to anything can happen. If I can, if I can see things approaching me. Then yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But like, maybe they find another clever way of doing it. I'm not gonna say they're not. New technologies gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during the earlier generations of video games. For narrative, this is very visible in facial expressions. We can tell so much through just the subtle changes on characters' faces. The presented gameplay footage shows a fragment of the city from the beginning of the game and sections in Brookhaven Hospital. The fight against monsters is prepared. You know, I know people have a problem, form, and it's mainly based on the very. Yeah, see, you see too far. Edits. James is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting oh, okay. Also, approach... can I just point this out? Yeah. I this too. Okay, can I also point this out? Somebody pointed this out too. These are the nurses. They've made them significantly less hot. <laughs> they've kind of removed the cleavage on some of them, and they've buttoned up their shirt a lot. People were very fast to point this out when they came, when they saw the first trailer. Do I like it? I uh, I wouldn't say I do. <laughs> I kind of like whenever, like, okay, I kind of like it when characters are a bit sexy, like, and very beautiful. I mean, okay, I, I hate whenever it's like, oh, but, but we got to appeal to a broader audience, and uh, we're not, we can't be too sexy, because people are going to call it sexist. Like, do you know how many people, like, look at Resident Evil. Do you know how many fucking people love Lady Dimitrescu? Do you know how many people fucking love... Like, the eight-foot-tall vampire woman? I rest my fucking case. <laughs> People love it. Hey, 55 of stream streak, hell yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not... Here's the thing. I'm not for whenever they decide to remove parts. Like, I don't think they should hide it. But I I don't think it's like I don't I don't find it's too big of a deal personally 
Like the fact that they removed made them less sexy and stuff like that. But I will not say it's it's definitely not a plus. It's a it's a negative feature. Adopting your approach to but the situation it's not will be gonna... the key to success. However, your playing style, among other things, determines what ending you will discover. Okay. October 8th. Pre-order now. Well, that's gonna be mid in Queen, so I can't fucking play it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll play it a little bit here and there. Hey, Ruka, how you doing? How you good doing? How you doing? I mean, like, it looks like, how to say it like this. Silent Tail. I did see gameplay trailer here as well. It's like, are you gonna watch Summer Game Fest at 7th of June? What is Summer? Uh, is it like a trailer thing? I mean, 7th of June. That's on Friday. I, I got work. I, I sadly am busy on Friday. I mean, I might. If I stream it, I might stream it on um, YouTube, honestly. That might be a good idea to stream there. If I do have time, though. special place. Hmm. What could she mean? And people, like, people said they had, like, problems with the faces. This I personally don't really have that much place. problem with them. I see that it's, like, a little bit, like... Like, I, I get it. Some of it is a little bit ugly, someday. but, like... I personally have no problem with it. it. Looks okay to me. I got a letter. Summer Game Fest, it will be envelope. like 55 game publisher trailers. Hell yeah. Then I might have to watch it. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Is she really alive? There's no Nintendo in the name. Boo! I mean, it's still fine. But boo! Hmm. What is this? I mean. Hey, wait! Yeah, that's how <laughs> that, that's how I would act if a fucking zombie was running around for me. I don't know. I uh, it looks the environment looks good, but it's very like how to say it like this. Nothing very mysterious about this. If I can say that. Hey, white poles, how's it going? We're watching the. Like, am I the only one to think, is this a new Silent Hill? Yeah, Silent Hill 2. Um, we're watching the trailer and stuff, and people talk about it. I, I have a bit of a problem, and that is the fact that I feel like I can see too much. Like, there's not, like, I know that sounds so weird, but, like, the fog in the first game was so, like, significant and, like, f made you feel so isolated. That now that it lets you like see a lot more and they actually like want to show off the graphical aspect, they're just kind of ruining the game for me. Because they want to show, oh, look at the graphics we can do now. And it's like, yeah, but I don't want to see. Like, I don't want to see three miles ahead of me. It kind of ruins the game. <laughs> oh, God. There's no GTA 6. TH4 trailer to upcoming ECF. Hey, that's fine. Hey, maybe there's something else fun there. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna watch it. I'll... I mean, if I if I have time, I'll definitely watch it. On, I think I'm YouTube. I'm probably gonna watch it. It's gonna be a YouTube stream.
Uh oh. What kind of PS2 looking graphic thing am I looking at there? Is that... Is that really what I'm supposed to be fucking scared of? <laughs> that looks worse than the PS2 monsters. Like, okay, that, that can't be done, is it? That, like... That can't be done. That looked so shit. Am I... Like, look at that. Come on. That... Like, am I the only one who finds that just ugly? Now, yeah, what's that speed teleport to grab? I know, right? Well, it's supposed to be intense, okay? <laughs> you see, it's, it's, it's supposed to be intense. They're supposed to cheat, so you get scared more. <laughs> Booba! Hey, Brown Star! How you doing? How you doing? Like, do you see what I mean by I think, like, you see too much? Because, like... Because, like, the reason why this was, like, scary before was because you get good surprised out of the, out of the fog. Like, fog, like, something could just jump out of the fog and would scare the shit out of you. You know what I mean? Hey, Frey, how's it going? But, like, here, you can see all the way down there. So, you're, like, you're fine. Like, you're super fine. Hey, white ghost, how you doing? Like, I just feel like this is just, there's too much range. Like... Nothing's gonna scare you from this. I don't... Is this when you were with the pyramid head over there? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, Silent Hill was where the original pyramid head uh, got it originated, yeah. They've also made the nurses less sexy. Where are you, Mary? Like, do you see what I mean? It's like... In another setting, this would be scary. But here, it's just... Nah. Oh, like that, for example. <laughs> Woo! Jesus. Yeah, that was scary. The idea was scary. Like, what you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! How do you know her name? I don't know. Old school PewDiePie. I don't know. Oh, is that a wiener? <laughs> Where did she go? I don't know. Let's look around. I mean, like, do you see what I mean? It's like, it looks, it looks good. Like, the, the, the graphics looks really nice. Let's be honest, the graphics are beautiful. And like, I'll be honest, people say they have problems with the faces, I don't. Feels so empty. More than the other places we've been. But it's not. But like, you see, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they're trying to the clothing mirror. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, they tried to modernize a lot of things, and I don't, I don't blame them for modernizing attire. Like, sure, make cleavage less happy, but like, come on. It's like, okay, make something with graphics being the focus, not the core mechanics of the game. I know, right? Well, the thing is, like, okay, question. Other places we've been. And this specific. Is anybody getting scared by this? <laughs> Is anybody getting scared by the wind blowing in the fucking... Like, no. <laughs> That's not... Why is that there? Like, why? <laughs> like, 
Uh, is it supposed to scare people? Is it supposed to just be like, ooh, it's windy outside? Like. You know what I mean? It's like. It's not. There's no reason for that wind. Like, wind to be there. Like, and this is too bright. Like, the. The hallway is too bright. I think, I think they're thinking too much about the graphics. I think they're thinking too much of the, um, like, graphics and less about the gameplay. Because, like, they're thinking so much about, like, let's make this look realistic. Let's make it look, like, beautiful and, like, have, like, all the things. And they made the render distance so far that you kind of can see anything coming. Like, the scary part of a horror game is the things you don't see coming, or being handicapped in a certain way that makes you scared. Like, the reason why you're scared in Amnesia is not because of the fact that, like, things are gonna get you. It's because, like, everything is so dark, you have a sanity meter to think about, so you're a little bit, like, paranoid. But then also the monsters can see you if you put the lights on. And, like, you have so much, like, you have so many handicaps in Amnesia... But that's what makes it intriguing. That's what makes you want to conquer it. It's like such a fun experience. This is making me want to... Like, this is just making me want to explore areas with a freaking powerful-ass flashlight. It's like, this would have been scary in real life, yes. But I can see all the way to the end of the hall there. Moist. Uh. Moist. Moist, moist, moist. There. Laura. Wait. Wait, Laura. Laura, come back. It's okay. You little shit. Not Silent Hill. Yeah. Now, where is that girl? Do you see what? Oh, uh, yeah. You see? Okay, yeah. You see how far that was before you saw that? Like, like if she kind of appeared from. Yeah, it's actually depressed watching. The... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I drop kit that child. I would look. Bring forth a taser. Taste the child. Run over, pick her up after she's being tased. You know, that, that you see there, there you go. She's gonna be easier to pick up. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. And also, another thing, and this is something people have talked about in movies too. Can you imagine how creepy this would have been? The fact that it's not attacking you and just walks by. Can you imagine how creepy this... Like, imagine how creepy this would be if the music was not there. If there was no music here. It would be... You know what I mean? It's like, sometimes... A soundtrack is good, but like, sometimes the sound If a soundtrack is completely silent... It brings up the tension because all you hear is the creepy noises and your brain starts to hesitate a bit. But like the fucking music in the background is like, oh shit, what you gonna do, buddy? And it's like, God fucking shut up, soundtrack. It's like, uh, I know, right? But even Resident Evil 4 isn't like, is a lot more scary than this. It's famous or stream, don't, God damn it. Sound design is very important, but angles and environments really can cause some good scares. Yeah, exactly. It's like... I am not... Like, you see... Okay, that was actually kind of good. Oh, but then they show something at the end of the hallway there. Oh no, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, 
Okay, he's just letting himself get hit, okay? Okay, that is not a situation that... Okay, you... I, I mean, he just let himself get hit. It's not scary in the slightest. Yeah, it's not sexy either. It's not scary or sexy. What the fuck am I supposed to watch this for? Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you know, you know it. Yeah, true. Is this the pyramid head? That sounds like his theme. Like, you just see... You see too much. It's not a horror game. It's just... Uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Do I even... Is it... You got a shotgun? Okay. Okay! You know, okay. Yeah, wow, they really fumbled this one. My childhood is screaming in anger. I know, right? They, yeah, they need a shorter skirt. It's shorter skirt and more cleavage. Because, like, there's no cleavage anymore, White Pulse. Like, they've, they've taken away the sexy nurses and just brought out regular nurses. But can I just say, this would have been so good if she was closer. That is not close enough to scare me. You know what I mean? So how many times have you been scared? I got startled by the light turning on a little bit. But, like, that's about it. Like, like push this... If you push this mob closer... To the point where, like, it grabs you from the side... Like, when you decided you walk out. Like, you know, that could get you a little bit more scared. But no. It's, like, right there. And it's like, oh, well, sh oh, shit. Like, you fought one close ahead earlier. They're not that difficult to deal with. And then you shoot him in the head. Oh. Hey, though, how was your day? So... Saw on you VR chat once anyways. Uh, good to see you on uh, streaming. Have a good day. And uh, I have a question for you. What's your favorite movie car? My favorite movie car? Easy. Back to the future. Man, like that. That is a badass fucking car. That was a bit disturbing. Yeah. Uh, Like, ah, <laughs> wait, hold on. Sorry, I was supposed to be more scared. <laughs> Ecto nineteen fifty nine, Kodiak, Matthew. Hmm. Uh, you, you you see you see like that too. I th I'm pretty sure they did that because people some people have uh, arachnophobia and stuff like that by putting the fucking bugs in the distance instead of putting like here's the thing. If you looked if you looked up and all the bugs were on the ceiling and falling down on you, you see that now it's starting to get now you're getting somewhere because that is a little bit like ewe. You know what I mean? But this, come on. That, that is not, yeah. Have you ever been in the VR horror map spheres? Yeah, I, I know the creator. I love it. It's a great map. I painted them. They're very nice. But you see what I mean? It's like if they did, 
I love that map. Map is great, yeah. Oh! Oh, okay, I will say that. That I love. I love how this moves, because it's a little bit unsettling. Like, see this. Yeah, that's pretty fucking unsettling. <laughs> I love that. That was a little unsettling. Yeah, exactly. I like that. That is a good fucking addition. I like that. Are they gonna add, are they gonna show Pyramid Head here? I mean, you gotta show Pyramid Head, right? Laura. Why do you keep yeah. running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying. Laura, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Let go! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? Hurt? This is no place for a kid. Uh, I mean, it will be helping if you looked at her. <laughs> There's something I've got to get. Laura. It's important. Okay. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. Okay. What's so significant about this door, huh? Okay. Sure this is where you left it? It's in the back, behind an old pipe. Okay, well, wait here. Oh, oh, you little shit! Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Yes. In your dreams, fart face. Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! Laura! Oh shit. Okay, what is this? Okay. It's like there's so many I mean there's so many good like there's so many genuinely good ideas that it is kind of upsetting that it's not like you know what I mean? It's like you're close. You're very close. But you gotta, you gotta actually make it scary. You know what I mean? It's like, like this is too bright to be scary. This, you can see too much for this to be scary. This fucking monster looks straight up out of fucking PS2 graphics because it's too clean. And you see too much in the fog. Whenever you're inside of the the office here, I mean, ooh, like, ooh, scary wind, ooh, like you can fix this. Why? Everything I see that is horror that rated be to be E for everyone. I know. I think it's. I'll say it. I'm not so sure, but I can probably say it. I blame the FNAF and like, I mean, it's like the community with like, kids play a lot of horror games nowadays. And we, like, 
I had actually a talk with Lola earlier today, which uh, Lola, Lola and Darren. And it's like, we were talking about like, there's so many games that come out nowadays that are like, it's horror, but for kids. It's like, oh, it's uh, Poppy Playtime, but Poppy Playtime is pretty good. So like, we kind of accept that one. You know what I mean? Poppy Playtime is really good. But uh, then you get to something like, I don't know. Then you get to something like FNAF. You get to something like um, Indie Park. Like, it's like, there's so many horror games that just, they feel too child like it's like they feel too they don't feel scary enough because they try to be scary enough for it to be like I, like I feel like Hideo Kojima the, he was like trying to make something with like the previous one he was trying to unsettle you he was trying to gross you out he's trying to make people not play the game because he's trying to make it as scary as humanly possible and I love that you want a good the Silent Hill game? Give it to Kojima. Exactly! All you need to do is give it to Kojima. Because he has a vision. He has a goal and he wants the game to be good. Like... Fucking... It's just so simple. Yet nobody gets it. I, I just... I just don't get it. I just... I just don't get it. Like, it shouldn't be that difficult. But yet here we are. Uh, I want a good Silent Hill game. And I'm not going to get it from these guys. Because they care so much. They care so much about a good soundtrack. Good looking game. Uh, we want to show off that we know how to make good graphics and fog, fog physics. That they just don't care about the horror aspect of what makes the horror game a horror game. What about the other Silent Hill with flower motif? Exactly. Like, you you want to know, like, look at, like, compare this to something that came out years before. Hold on. Like, compare this to... Like, compare this to what they made before. This was made years before. Like, this is... This is nine years ago. PT came on 2014. This was supposed to be Silent Hill. Who's gonna believe you? Like, do you see how much more fucking... Do you see how much more disturbing and awful this is? You feel... You feel... You feel claustrophobic. You feel scared. Here, you're walking through a fucking park. Hey Dove, how's it going? <laughs> no person no different. But like see it like this. this like Sound Hill. <laughs> you see here, this is a genius thing. They put this in the fucking distance. Like they they put this in the distance and then it's gone you don't see it a long time if you walk fast then you don't see it that much and that makes it scary you're like you don't like that pitch dark also exactly look you have no you can see the entrance but you have no idea if that thing is still there like you can see the exit like here Look at this. Like, this is a fucking mockery. Like, this is like, oh, like, look how much you can see here. Nothing's gonna jump out at you. You see everything. Yeah, difference between this one and the one. But, like, the old one? Let's be honest. Like,. Okay, he's just- this is just one- someone rushing through, but like... Do you see the difference between this cockroach scene and like, uh, everything else? 
So I remember this. Cockroaches spawn all around you. In the middle of everything. And this one? Uh, like, see here. Wait, where was it again? Hold on. Yeah, here. Let's see. They form all around you? Here? Uh, let's put them in the corner you're nowhere near. Yep, that's that's good. Yep, that's where we're gonna put them. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. It should be easy to be scared. More like The Last of Us. True, true. Honestly, it does really look like The Last of Us. You are 100% correct there. It gives off more... And like, this part where you get trapped in the fucking bathroom. With a... With... What was it? Where like, the... With like, the fetus right there and it's like... You kind of are a little bit, like, unsettled by that, and you can't see anything. And, like, right when you think that's everything going on here. Yeah, I, I know, right? It's like, it's like, see here. He's looking at it, and then the music starts kicking up. Baby starts crying. And that is already a bit unsettling, because you're kind of like, SHUSH! And then, yeah, someone is trying to open the door. Like, that is terrifying. That is such a terrif- I remember when I played this, I genuinely got terrified of this fucking scene. Because the idea of getting trapped in a bathroom completely... It's like... It's like, it's comp- That is so terrifying. But like here, they give you so much fucking space that you're not even fucking worried about anything. This is pretty cool. The fact that the monsters move like that because it's a little bit unsettling. By the way, hey Loomis, how's it going? Yeah. I, like, I get so... This is in Resident Evil Village, baby. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. That is a fucking terrifying creature, too. But yeah, I... I don't know. It's just... They made this too bright. They... They upped... They up the soundtrack. Some places that could be terrifying is not terrifying due to the fact that like, you see it coming a mile away. Like, look at this. That's a bit unsettling. The fact that the light just suddenly shines and it's like, oh, that's like, yeah, that, that's, it jitters a bit. But then, second time, not that scary anymore. And then you see something appearing there. And you have so much time to prepare that she is coming your way. That you can literally... I mean, ugh. exactly. That's what I mean too. Blind streak. It's like, it's a horror game that is just not. Ugh. It's like, I want a scary game. Yeah, like yeah, no, that actually be better if they the light shines the first time. There's nothing there. Shines the second time. She is there. Third time. She's gone again. Like, that would have been actually kind of... That would have been interesting. I mean, wouldn't have gotten you into a combat scenario, though, which I think was the point of this. But it would still be interesting. But look at this. Shoot there. She, she jumps back. He literally walks in himself. And then literally stands there to get hit. Look at that. He is trying to show off that you can actually get hit. I, I just... It's... There's so many ways to make a horror game and I swear they just didn't try. Ugh. Needs to be faster like unnatural, yeah. That sound, isn't that taken from Kara Fear? I don't think so. I think, well, I mean, it's... Look, I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure they made their own sound design here. Because, like, let's be honest, that is... 
I mean, they are very, like, Konami usually does make their own sound design, but, like, I'm sure it's probably, like, done the same way, so it's, like, I mean, you can only hit a metal pipe so many, like, onto fleshy body in so many ways that makes a certain sound, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if I, if I can guess correctly, they probably took, like, I've seen people make sounds before, and they probably took a... Like one of those hooks with like uh, one with the fire. Burn, a, burn, like burn. a rib cage on top of it and just hit that with a fucking crow like a pipe to make that sound. I'm pretty sure. Kakasi, thank you so much for following. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah. Sped up sound of that nurse, yeah. I mean it's like it I mean oh, okay. I'm done ranting. I'll be I'll be on my way to Days Gone now, so we're gonna change the game. But holy shit, am I like I'm I'm pissed. Like I'm kind of pissed. There were so many ways you could have done this. There's so many ways you could make something scary, <laughs> but you don't. Oh. Get me angry. Angry to the point where I need more water. I'll be right back.